Hey guys, I am Foxtrot Delta, and welcome back to some more Star Trek Legacy using both the Ultimate Universe Mod 2.2 and the 11 Mod. And one of you in the comments section wanted to see a fleet of warship intrepid vessels go up against a fleet of Jaeger class Federation starships. So I have both fleets set up here today. We have 24 warship intrepids against 32 Jaegers because I've noticed that despite the Jaeger being incredibly powerful, the intrepid is slightly more dangerous uh, in this version, the, the warship intrepid, I should say. So I think these will be pretty evenly matched. Let's start the battle. And let's skip this intro scene if we can. There we go. And everything is running smoothly. Okay. We have three attack groups here against four attack groups on the other side. We are in the Alpha Fleet versus Armada map because it's just the one that I use pretty much all of the time. I'm going to wait for them to get a little bit closer before I start warping my ships, although I think some of them are already, yeah, they're already impulsing in that direction. So I might as well follow. Oh, they're already shooting, actually. So the warship intrepids have a longer uh, weapons range than that of the Jaeger class, which definitely could help us out. Yeah, look at that. We are wearing down their shields. Look at that. Scene. Now we have what appears to be a phaser lance on top here. Actually, it looks like we have three or more. All right, we are decimating this first attack group, but the Jaegers are beginning to open fire. You can see we're also launching green pulses at them. Most likely some kind of disruptor technology. This is too easy. That being said, I tried this earlier with only eight warship intrepids and eight was not enough. Also, the Jaegers are giving me difficulty when trying to lock onto them. I'm trying to click and hold the, the phasers, but they're not staying on. Wow, we are just slicing right through them. Now, this ship is taking damage. We're being attacked by... What, four or five Jaegers at once? So we may lose this warship. But now without a fight. Shields are back online. Torpedoes are launching. Aft torpedoes launching. There we go. Jaeger destroyed. Now we have fought against the Anchor class and using the Anchor class before, and they are tough and deadly. But it looks like the warship Intrepid just packs more of a punch. Yeah, we've won the battle. That was highly... Well, I'm not going to say it was unexpected because I did expect to win. What I did not expect to do is win so easily. Did I even lose one ship? I'm not sure. But what I can do is I can lower the amount of warship intrepids and see if we get the same result. So I'll be right back after doing that. Alright everyone, I am back and I believe I misspoke earlier when I said I tried the battle before with 8 warship intrepids. At least I think that's what I said. I actually meant I tried it before with 16 warship intrepids and that was not enough. But here I am trying it again with 16, so we'll see if 16 can possibly win. It did not win the last time I tried it, but maybe I'll have better luck. So I'm going to hit engage. I have not refit my ships in any way. They're just regular warship intrepids. We're just going to see how well they hold up. We're going to use our weapons range to our advantage. I'm not going to warp in my fleet. I'm just going to impulse it. 
because I know that we can fire those phasers over a vast distance and I want to have as much time as possible before our fleets directly collide. I don't want them to return fire. I really think we can disable a lot of their ships before we actually meet close up. We'll see. All right. Let's decrease to one half speed. Actually, you know what? One quarter speed. I'll let that other fleet go in. They can distract them. But I'm going to slowly approach. Actually, yeah, right now, just our uh, dorsal center phaser lance device is firing. You know, I think they target the nearest enemy, because I'm hitting the button, which is, a uh, Space S, to target the nearest ship. And that's the one that they're shooting every time. Alright, now our other phasers are kicking in. Alright, the game froze for a quick second. Oh, versus a, a long second. Yeah. Come on. I'm having a difficulty again getting a solid lock. Once their shields go down, their hull messes with my targeting scanners or something like that. I'm going to try to rationalize it that way. Now, my second ship is in the middle of the fight right now. You can see them engaging the fleet. But I'm going to try to pick off as many as I can from this distance. They have not yet attacked this group. So we really have a good chance. Yeah, they're having problems too. We really have a good chance at winning if this fleet can hold out and uh, if my guys keep on shooting. We just lost our command vessel for my second attack group. Now each ship will individually target whatever's nearest to them, which I'm fine with. Come on. Look at that. It's giving me problems. Now we're firing the green things and the Jaegers are engaging. So we're now within their weapons range, although we've already decreased their fleet by at least a third. We can't actually see them that well. But our weapon systems can. It's good enough for me. Torpedoes are away. That vessel's destroyed. Next target. Let's take on the Adlington. Oh, no. Let's shoot this one because everyone else is shooting this one. So we always need to... Nope. Now they're shooting this one. Okay. Always jump on the bandwagon when it comes to fighting in Star Trek Legacy. That's my word of advice. Because usually what everyone else is shooting will probably end up exploding... And you can help it. Alright, that explosion could cripple us. Let's get out of here. And now we're no longer strategically targeting anything. We were just shooting things. This is a full-on battle. But we have destroyed the majority of their ships with just 16 warship intrepids. I don't think I could accomplish the same thing with just 8. Uh... Because the first eight were necessary in order to distract their fleet. Otherwise, I think they would have overwhelmed us. There you go, that Jaeger class is about to become discombobulated. Nicely done. Just two more Jaeger class ships left and we can go home. Alright, the Russell is about to be destroyed. Getting some nice hits with the weapons. Oh, there we go. There's, there's a good one. They just tried to shoot me and take my shields down, but I was too powerful. Well, what we really need to do is have a Federation battle against these warship intrepids. I think that would be very interesting. Because we fought Jaegers before with regular Federation ships, but never the um, never really fought the warship intrepids. So that's just something to, to, to think about in the future. I think we lost a ship or two 
to that explosion at the end, but uh, my command ships are responsible, at least in some way, for the destruction of seven of the 32 enemy vessels. I did lose my one command ship uh, that was distracting the enemy fleet, but that battle took just over five minutes. So if you guys enjoyed this conflict between the warship Intrepids and the Federation Jaeger-class starships, then please be sure to leave the video a like. And if you are not subscribed and you want to see more, well then please subscribe because there's always more Star Trek Legacy on this channel. If for whatever reason, however, you guys did not enjoy the video, I do apologize for that, and I ask that you leave a comment in the comment section, and let me know what it is that I can do to improve the next videos that I produce, so that hopefully you guys will find some entertainment when you watch them. And if you want to see any specific type of ship or battle scenario, such as this one, well then feel free to leave a comment in the comment section regarding that, and I will read through all of your various suggestions and ideas, and I will do my best to use your recommendations in my future videos. So as always, I am Foxtrot Delta, I hope that you guys are all having an amazing day, and I will see you next time.